Hey everybody, this is Guy. We got the uh, uh, high energy wind generator finally installed. There it is. It's sitting about 17 feet in the air. I'll uh, show you how we uh, mounted it to the building. The mast here at the top is, is uh, mounted with some unistrut to the, to the shed. And then I ran a standoff um, with, a, with a bolt behind it and, and, or a, a nut and another unistrut to get it right to the edge of the, of the drip edge there. And then just clamped it in place with, the, with this. This is a half inch all thread by about 12 inches long altogether. And uh, man, she's she's pretty sturdy. And then at the bottom, you've probably seen in one of the other videos, it's just a door hinge. Um, and then uh, what I can do is is unbolt that, and then the whole thing will uh, will come on down. And then uh, I just lean it on a on a ladder. So then what we got here is uh, I just uh, I ran it up the bottom of the uh, the mast, and I put some wire loom, and then this. Uh, coil sheath over it, drilled it, and ran it inside. Now we'll go inside and check out the what we did in here. Okay, up at the top here, this is uh, this is the bolts that come through that mount the first unistrut to the building. So I put these big washers on here. That's uh, um, that's pretty secure. That's, that's holding real well. Um, and then down here, what we've got, this is where the wire comes in. Sorry, it's a little dark in here. But we come up with the three phase wires and and it comes into the switch. Now, the switch is uh, is not an off switch for the uh, wind generator. What this is, is uh, the power comes in and then leaves and continues on and goes to the charge controller. And when I put the switch on, it, uh, I've got it shorted here. I don't know if that'll focus. There we go. What I did is I, uh, I just took some wire staples and bent them and cut them off so that uh, there'd be uh, all three would have a dead short. So that's how I did that. And there's the windbreak. Okay. So that goes in to the charge controller comes out and and they, this set of wires here is temporary until I get uh, till I get a little further but um, this is also um, uh, going to be installed this amp meter and by the way guys uh, everybody watching this I want to uh, I want to give a shout out to KV USMC got to check out his channel if it wasn't for him, uh, we, I wouldn't even have the wind generator. We did some bartering. Uh, we installed his wood stove, and uh, uh, and in turn, for me helping him with the wood stove, he gave me the wind generator. And then uh, I went went in and changed the bearings, and and I've gotten this far with it thus far. So uh, hats off to KV USMC. I really appreciate it. He also gave me this uh, uh, this amp meter some of the leftover stuff he had uh, after installing his system and I really encourage you to go check out his system um, really good stuff alright so I got the amp meter here and uh, this is going to be installed right here so I'll have the brake switch and the amp meter um, under a three-way cover uh, three gang cover there I think that'll look pretty slick just like that but for now until I get the three three gang cover that's sitting right there. Now, we have uh, we have a storm coming, uh, probably Monday night, so this will uh, uh, be a very good time to, to check it out. Um, um, I'm not producing much power at all, actually. Uh, sun has gone down, and my big panels are still, still out of commission at the moment. So, um, really, really haven't been making much power here recently. Got to get things fixed up. But anyway, I just wanted to go over the the, the 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 air brake that I installed and the wiring and show what I've got so far and and uh, anyway, that's that's the system thus far. All right, thanks for watching.